welcome back. It's Marisa. How are ya? Um, if it's your first time here, I am so happy that you are here on my channel today. Um, and I hope everyone's doing really well today. So to start off this video, I, wa I said I was going to show you how these two paintings dried. So this one is the Sargent uh, Pouring Medium. And this is the Floetrol. Let me focus. Here we go again with focus, focus. Here we go. So, the Floetrol, it actually cracked a little bit over here, which is fine. Um, and it's definitely more matte. It's a little gloss over there. But it definitely dried more matte than the Sargent. And the sergeant left, um, you know, a little more texture. See if you could see that. Yeah, there you go. See? It's a lot more texture in it. If you don't like texture, you know, it could have been my choice of paints. Um, it could have been the white uh, paint I used because, you know, um, I did get some cells. But, yeah, so it's a little shinier than the Floetrol. Um, I wasn't expecting the Floetrol to be shiny at all anyway. Uh, I actually just wasn't expecting the Sargent to uh, dry glossy at all. I wasn't really sure um, how it was going to dry. So that's why I came back today to give it a good 24 hours. So, yeah, there is more texture in here. If you don't like that, it could have been like the temperature in the room, you know. Um, if you don't know, temperature definitely affects the way the paint, your paintings dry. So, especially with resin, which I have not gotten into yet. Um, I'm actually trying to learn how to do that. But yeah, so that's, I just wanted to share that with you. So, I don't know which one I like more. Honestly, right now, even though this one has more texture... I kind of like the Sargent more. I know, I can't believe I'm saying that. I do love the Floetrol. Um, and then, of course, if you ever want to make something glossy, you can, um, you know, coat it. You could definitely resin it. So, and then it, it made, the resin makes the uh, colors definitely pop out. But I don't know, for some reason, I am right now going for the Sargent in these two particular paintings. But I think they both came out pretty cool. And uh, yeah, that's it for this part. I just wanted to share that with you. So, I can't believe I'm actually saying this. So in these, this round, I think, this for me, the Sergeant one, please feel free to uh, leave your comments below. And, you know, saying I don't like cracks. That's no, no, no. Uh, just, you know, please feel free. And yeah, but I do like both of them. It's just like different aspects of what I do like. Uh, actually, what I don't like is these cracks that kind of ruin the um, little lacing and uh, the cell uh, formation. So I think that's what did it for me. But again, it could have been that uh, the Apple Bow white paint that did that. So, alrighty. So next up, who are we going to battle next? And you'll find out in a minute. Stay tuned. All right, see you in a minute. Hey, guys, I'm back. So, you know, it probably was, I just thought of this. It probably wasn't uh, much of a surprise because I kept on saying in my other video, I'm waiting for deco art and I'm waiting for the apple barrel. So it's no surprise. I'm so silly. <laughs> anyway, it is apple barrel and the deco art uh, pouring medium. And last night, because sometimes I get ahead, and because uh, uh, mixing paint can be time-consuming, and anyone who does this knows that, um, and my day can be very busy, when I have a little time, I get ahead, and I mix my paints like the night before, if I can. Um, and so behind are each of the, f I'm using four colors, so that's the apple barrel. That's what that looks like. Again, cute packaging, but I have some things to say about this pouring medium. Ha, not good with the tone of my voice, right? 
Um, and here's the deco art. And with a tone of my voice, you could much lighter, yeah. So those are the paints behind there and the little cups. And I mixed, I used all the same paint and I wanted to use um, a heavier uh, body paint this time because, um, you know, the craft paint, uh, you know, it's not the best quality, but it's not the worst either. Um, I just want to use like all the same paint with two different paint uh, pouring mediums, you know, just keep it simple. So here are the paints from Arteza. You got titanium white, Prussian blue, was this mid yellow? Hold on. Mid yellow and focus issues again. What else is new? And rose. Okay. So those are my four paints I'm using. I'm trying to keep it uh, simple. And this pour, you know, again, no water and no silicone because I really just want to test it. Um, because, you know, the silicone could definitely create cells. Um, I just want to see how these two guys work. So let's start off in the good uh, part. And again, we don't know how it's going to be when the pour um, actually happens. So these are my opinions so far. Okay. The deco art was much easier to work with. I'll be honest with you, much easier to work with. Uh, the paint came out very silky. Um, it was good, you know. So, like, as far as just mixing the paint, it was very easy to work with, okay? No bubbles, no clumps, nothing. It's just smooth. Um, it mixed very quickly. Beautiful. Oh, my goodness. All right. So, I, I don't want to become, like, a product review channel, but... Um, I just want to give you guys a heads up. I don't know if, and I please, if you have used this before in the comments, let me know your experiences with it. And if you experience this with the apple barrel, because I just want to know if I got an old bottle, um, if it's just a bottle I got, or this is how apple barrel is. It was so clumpy. It was clump of the house. It was horrible. Okay, it was so hard to work with. Um, yeah, I didn't know I had to strain it. Uh, maybe, you know, I again, I'm learning something new every day. Um, I just learned about the, you know, you should strain your flow troll. So I started doing that, and I understand that. But the flow troll is not even that clumpy, okay? Sometimes it, like, kind of settles on the bottom. A little clump here and there, not a big deal. This was full of air bubbles when I mixed it. Um, it was very clumpy. It was so clumpy that my strainer was filled with stuff. And on top of that, I couldn't even clean the strainer out. I almost ruined my str my little uh, strainer I got at the doll store. I mean, it's a doll. Who cares? But so what? It just... I had to let my strainer sit for like 30 minutes and the uh, the pouring medium still couldn't come out. I just cleaned it finally this morning. It was sitting in my kitchen sink all night. Ugh. Anyway, so I did try to get all the clumps out, hopefully out of the paint that I did pour here, okay? Um, there could be a couple clumps in there, uh, so I, and I do apologize for that ahead of time. Um, but yeah, I had to strain, and I what I did was I strained a whole bunch of it, and I put it in a container, put it to the side. But, uh, so my first impressions is, I don't like this pouring medium. However, saying that, um, I have no idea. I mean, the painting could come out beautiful. After, you know, when I actually pour it on the canvas, it could come out beautiful. So, those are my... <laughs> I have a lot of opinions this morning, obviously. Um, yeah, but those are my opinions so far, okay? Just, like, working with it for the first time, okay? Um, I just found this to be very easy to work with. But you know what? Just because it's easy to work with, the painting could come out cracked, crappy. You know, who knows? 
Um, but yeah, so those are my thoughts thus far. And so next up, I am going to start uh, the paintings, okay? And again, I'm going to be doing um, two uh, little paintings. Uh, they're from Arteza. They are um, the little four by four inch uh, canvases, okay? And they actually do come with cute little easels too, so that's pretty cool. All right, so stay tuned. And next up is the pores, all right? All right, guys.
Hey guys, I'm back. So, here are my final thoughts. And I'm in a real good mood today. Um, so, Deco Art is up first because, well, you know why. Alright, Deco Art, you are up for review. So, my thoughts are I really like it. Um, between these two, Deco Art, ding, ding, ding is the definite winner here. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I didn't get that little edge there. But anyway, it's okay. It's just smooth. I mean, I really like the camera angle's kind of bad. Oh, here we go. It's a little better lighting. Um, it's just create a nicer painting. I like the way the colors mixed. Um, yeah. It's, to me, it's just a better uh, pouring medium than the apple barrel. And off camera, on this guy right here, I mean, I just, A, don't like it. Um, I don't like the way the colors mixed in together. It didn't create any cells, really, at all. Um, obviously, silicone will have to be used with the apple barrel. Um, and I'm going to have to keep on straining it. I mean... I'm going to be honest with you, I probably will never buy this again, but I will probably use it up. So, you know, the Apple Barrel um, paint itself, I think, was cute, okay? It was pretty, it was pastel. Um, yeah, I'd probably, like, maybe give it to my, honestly, I'm probably going to give the paint and to my friend who does more crafty things. I don't know. All right, um, but... I could always use the paint for something else myself, but anyway, the pouring medium, <sighs> it sucks, man. <laughs> it just sucks. Um, yeah, off camera, I took a, there was like a big little, um, a big little, a little section here of pink, and I was, it was like a chunk was like sliding. I'm like, what the heck is that? And I just, it slid right off. It was a big chunk. I'm like, uh-uh. So, you know, to me, the colors got muddy, okay? It's just not good, in my opinion. I mean, you know, I hope that um, maybe I just got a bad bottle. You know what I mean? Um, and then I'd be willing to try it again. But please leave your comments below if you have used these two. Pouring me, as I know a lot of you have. Uh, what your experience is, and yeah, just let me know. Let me know what you think. Um, if do you have the same opinion as me, or is it opposite? You know, maybe some people like this painting. Maybe I'm sure there's plenty out there, plenty of people that love apple barrel pouring medium. Me, you know, this bottle again. I'm hoping I got a bad bottle. That's all I'm hoping. Uh, then if I did, I give it another chance. You know what I mean? Uh, maybe I'd send it back to Amazon. I don't know. Probably at this point I can't because it's like, you know, used already. But anyway, so that is it for today, guys. Um, I'm really cooking up some really cool ideas for you in the next videos. Uh, I am going to continue doing this. Um, you know, with the battle, maybe it'll be like deco art uh, against Sargent or deco art against, you know, Flow Troll. You know, who knows? Um, and I'm going to continue looking for other products out there to try and I have been seeing popping up and I saw on the Arteza um, website they do have um, their own pouring um, paints and uh, I was told a couple things about it and they're pretty good you know um, very similar to the artist loft premixed except it doesn't um, I was talking to another artist on YouTube. I forgot his channel. If I remember, I'll link it below. I'm so sorry. Um, but, um, yeah, that it's very similar to Artist Loft. Not really any cell creation except with uh, silicone, but it doesn't uh, dry as glossy. But I love Arteza. Uh, I love their colors, so I'm probably going to buy that somewhat soon. But I do have a lot of paints, but I always love to try new things. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. And I just want to say I do have something else coming up really uh, important and wonderful. Is I'm very close to 100 subscribers. 
And I am so grateful for everyone being here. Um, you have really have no idea. This is like a dream come true to me uh, doing this. It's just every bit of the process um, is amazing to me. And um, speaking with you guys and connecting with you guys is uh, just wonderful. And when I hit 100 subscribers, I am going to do a giveaway. Um, okay? So anyway, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And, you know, hit the notification bell. And so you never make, so you always get notified <laughs> of when my uh, next videos come up. Okay? Have a beautiful day, guys. Thank you. Bye.